our focus here is on the OA joint. So in, we'll start with the assessment. So the way that I assess the OA joint um, is in its ability to, well, so first I'll start with uh, the fact that we go into rotation and then uh, I look for the ability, uh, Rachel, can you nod your head? I'm looking for about 20 degrees based off the mandible and that gives me a general idea as far as like how far she, uh, whether there's a restriction there or not. Go ahead. Okay, I'd say that is pretty good. And then here's uh, like actually the line of our mask actually shows it pretty well. And then uh, is your mouth closed there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, great. So once more. And yeah, so I'm not as confirmed. Let me see this side once more. Yeah, so I'd say this side doesn't, can you appreciate it? Does, she doesn't get as much of a nod there. It's subtle. But then the, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into some, uh, see my fingers are right under the nuchal line, and I'm going to spin around the axis of her nose. Okay. And I think that Rachel and I both can agree that uh, she side bends well here. She doesn't there. There's like some restriction just that, uh, just on that left uh, occiput, at least when I'm closed down on it. Um, and then I can also like scoop. So if we're in my mind's eye, I'm imagining the occiput on the atlas like this. Okay, great. And then we talked about the, the lateral side glide technique uh, in our assessment. So that would look like this, where I'm, I'm, I can do one side at, the, at a time where I'm just cradling head. And then I'm actually going to get my hips involved. I'm just going to kind of work myself down the spine. How much does it spring in and does it spring back? I'm going to work myself all the way up. And this is a, a good example because this is stiff compared to the rest of the cervical spine. As I get more confident in my lateral glides, what I've added is I've added in additional small vectors. So uh, I talk about, uh, imagine like it's a moonwalk with my hands. So I'm getting flexion, rotation, side bending as I get my side glide. So it would feel like this, slight rotation, and my hands are working together. And I feel a little bit more restriction when I do that, so particularly there. I'd say that's, I'd call that like C3, C4. And then as I come down to the left side, it's a little bit smoother. Some tone in the muscle, but at the joint level, it's feeling pretty good with the exception of that upper cervical spine that we've otherwise identified. So that would be like a brief assessment as to give me some guidance as to where we need to go. So you can do your C0, C1 in the cradle grip or the chin grip, your choice. Uh, if you're going to do the chin, uh, excuse me, if you're going to do the cradle grip, I'd have the table just a little bit higher so that the crown of her head is right at my navel. And then I'm going to be right up close to her because I'm going to be faster if she's in closer to me. Okay? And then, uh, have you ever seen like uh, the, kind of the monkey with the, the clapping symbols, right? analogy that's the same position so I'm gonna be like this and then this web space is gonna just be over the crown or over ear so I'm gonna be like this and um, my father's in the hardware business and he always talks about these wing nuts and so that's what I imagine is my forearms okay so if I was gonna apply the, the vectors here I get my free rotation I stay wide Okay, so rotation away, side bend towards, side glide, and then this PA. Okay, so chin up, and then that kind of, again, I'm scooping the occiput, and it's a high arc of rotation. I need to be either at the opposing eye or even higher in order to be able to get the right vector. And then it's in order to determine where my forces are going to be concentrated on the cervical spine. It's dependent not only upon 
the vector of the thrust, but also on where my hand placement is. I want to be over the ear because I want to be high. If I was going to go chin cradle grip, which I usually prefer with this technique, uh, I'm going to move Rachel off to her left. Why am I going to do that? because it's going to be helpful for me to get around the corner of the table, which is going to be necessary here. That may not be preferential for the other regions of the spine, but it is good technique for the upper cervical. Okay, I lay my hand down just and my forearm just like this. So we talk about forearm, finger, bicep, and boob or pec as far as the contact. And it should I should have complete control of her head and her neck with my long lever. Typically what we get is this, where she falls through, where you don't have enough contact in the back. And she'll, even if she doesn't fall through, she'll feel that apprehension or that, in, that lack of comfort and stability, and she'll guard a little bit, okay? So it's like this, okay? So that's gonna be my thrust. It's gonna be right here. But I put my arm, my forearm down, I roll her, I get my free rotation as I rotate her about 30 to 45 degrees. With my short lever, I come over the ear and right under the nuchal line. So it's there, okay? So there's my free rotation. To side bend, I come around the corner of the table, side shift, okay? What's, what's uncomfortable about that, Rachel? The hand. Yeah. And how did I know she was uncomfortable? Because her SEM popped on her left side, right? I, I'm not quite sure if it was, I was catching her ear or it was my watch, but we'll try again. So I'm there, and now it's, there's not nearly as much tone. Is that, is that better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Okay, and then I, I'm shifting there and finding the barrier. And then there's this, this scoop right before the moment of truth. So we'll back off before we thrust. Are you okay if I uh, go through the reverse? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so crown at the head of the table. I'm, a I'm gonna use a chin cradle grip. So I'm right, at, uh, I'm right at belt buckle rather than at navel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get free rotation there. I'm gonna come around this. Uh, so rotate away, side bend towards, side glide, PA scoop. And it's going to be this high thrust of rotation. Like that. Okay. Uh, any questions there?